I'm Mrs. D. Math. Thanks for joining me today. We're going to go over solving systems of equations by graphing in eighth grade math. A system of equations is multiple equations with the same variable. A solution of the system is an ordered pair that is a solution to all equations in the system. We're going to start out simple with two equations. So these two equations make a system of equations because they both have the same variables y and x. We're going to use our slope intercept form and we're going to graph both of these equations. Our first equation y equals 3x does not have a y intercept. So this one is going to go through the origin. So I'm going to put my first point at 0, 0. And then I know that 3 is my slope and in this case my rise over run is going to be 3 over 1. So my rise means I'm going to go up 3 and then I'm going to go right 1 to put a point. I can count again up 3, right 1, I have another point. I can also go down 3 and left 1 because a negative negative makes a positive. And I can see here that I do have a positive slope. I have enough points now. I'm going to go ahead and draw my line. Now I'm going to create my line for my second equation, y equals negative 2x plus 5. I do see that I have a y-intercept, which is positive 5. So I'm going to put my first point at 0, 5. From there, my slope is negative 2, so I can put that negative 2 over 1. And now I'm going to count for my rise down 2, and then right 1. I'm going to put a point down 2, right 1 down two, right one. I like to put a good three or four points in order to be able to draw a straight line. Oh my gosh. Now that I have my line drawn, I can see that the point of intersection is right here at the point one, three. So what I need to check is to make sure that this is a solution for both equations. So I'm gonna go back to my original equations and I'm going to plug in a 1 for x and a 3 for y. So in this case, 3 equals 3 times 1. And I do know that 3 times 1 is 3. So this one is the solution. And then if I do the same thing here, I'm going to plug in a 3 for my y and 1 for my x and solve. So I know 3 equals negative 2 plus 5 and negative 2 plus 5 is also equal to 3, so this one is also a solution. So 1, 3, the point 1, 3, is the solution for my system of equations. We're going to do another example, but sometimes you have to rewrite the equations in order for it to be in slope-intercept form, which is our y equals mx plus b, before we graph it. So from our situation, Jane and her friends shared fries and hamburgers for lunch. The fries cost $2 each and the hamburgers cost $4 each. They bought six items for $20. We want to know how many fries and hamburgers did they buy. So we can create two equations from this problem and then we can graph those equations in order to figure out how many fries and how many hamburgers they bought. Fries will be our x and hamburgers will be y. So in the first equation, we know that they bought six items and all six items had to be fries and hamburgers. So that means that my X plus Y, my fries plus my hamburgers equals six. My other equation is based on the cost of these items. And I know the fries were $2 each, so that's two times X. My hamburgers were $4 each, so that's going to be 4 times y, and that equals the total cost of the items, which is $20. So you can see here that my two equations are not in y equals mx plus b form. And in order to do this, I need to isolate the y. So let's start with the first equation here on the left. And in order to isolate the y, I need to move my x to the other side, which means I'm going to subtract it. So now I have y equals, but I can't combine 6 and x because they do not have like terms. So I'm going to write my negative x first plus 6. That way I don't have to rewrite anything because I know my x comes before my constant. 
And so now I have this in y equals mx plus b form. So we're gonna do the same thing to the one here on the right. So first I have to move my 2x to the other side by subtracting 2x. So now I'm gonna have 4y equals negative 2x plus 20. Again, I'm gonna write my negative 2x first so I don't have to move everything around later. Then I'm gonna to have to move this four, the coefficient with the y, to the other side by dividing everything by four. So this turns into y. I know that negative two fourths is also equal to a negative one half, so I'm gonna reduce that. And then plus 20 divided by four is five. So now I have both equations in y equals mx plus b form. I'm gonna go ahead and graph these. So the first one, y equals negative x plus six. I know that my y-intercept is at zero, six. And then I know that my slope is negative x. So in this case, I have negative one x. So that's gonna be negative one over one. That's my rise and my run. So I'm gonna go from here, down one, right one, down one, right one, down one, right one. So there's enough for me to go ahead and draw my first line. So now let's go to our second equation and we're going to put our first point, which is gonna be at zero, five. My y-intercept is at five. Then my slope is negative one half. So that means I'm gonna go down one, right two. Down one, right two. Down one, right two. So there's enough for me to go ahead and draw my second line. And we can see pretty quickly here that our point of intersection is at two, four. And if I plug those back into the original equations, I can see in my first equation that two plus four does equal six. And in my second equation, two times two is four, plus four times four is 16, and that equals 20. So it does work. So this means Jane and her friends bought two fries, and four hamburgers. I'm Mrs. D Math. This has been Solving Systems of Equations by Graphing in Eighth Grade Math. Thanks for joining me today. If you wanna catch any other slope or y-intercept videos, those will be linked below. And I hope you have a great day. Bye.